This time it's what we call a COBRA grant in our medical lingo, and that stands for a Center of Biomedical Research Excellence. Uh, and it's a comprehensive grant uh, to study a large volume of complex material, which of course liver disease represents. And so what this means for us is $11.5 million worth of funding for this project over a five-year period, uh, which will provide dramatic support to Craig, multiple faculty members, and innumerable staff who uh, work in the facilities that do this important research. Unfortunately, there is no FDA-approved treatment available for either fatty or non-alcoholic liver disease. And so this is why it is so crucial that the government has decided to invest money in this important type of, of research. One of our most important roles as a school of medicine is to create new knowledge. And the way we, that we do that is through our research efforts. But we go a step further. We take the creation of that new knowledge and translate that into tangible ways of improving the lives of our patients and our communities. Dr. McLean's research work in liver disease is a perfect example of this. He's gathered together scientific minds um, that create that new knowledge, um, people that understand the basic mechanisms of liver disease with the clinicians that see the manifestations of that disease in their patients. There are about 120 of these COBRAs in the country, and ours is the only one that uh, focuses on the broad area of liver disease and especially the focus of environmental liver disease. We've treated over 250 veterans this year with hepatitis C and cured them. So this means that they're not going to go on to develop uh, uh, decompensated liver disease, cirrhosis, and maybe even liver cancer. So this is a great thing. But as Greg said uh, and Tony said, we don't have FDA-approved therapy for either non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or alcoholic liver disease. So that's one of the goals of our group. I think we're going to have the most NIH-funded and overall funding in research that we've ever had at Louisville this year. And so we're doing great things in research.